In the 1940s, a group of ranchers where I grew up came together and built a little community center. Okay, this is for dances and potlucks and picnics and so forth. But that community is gone, entirely gone. Did you know that the small family farm and ranch disappears at the rate of 758 a month? That's one an hour. How many more will be gone by the time this evening's program is entirely over? It's frightening. We're being sucked into a nameless, faceless, centralized food production system that saps the enthusiasm out of community and destroys an agrarian life, way of life. And I want us to change that and come back to the land. I'm asking each of you guys tonight to come back to the land. I did, um, after a stint in the military and a, uh, a graduate program at Harvard, <laughs> I was offered a position at the US State Department. But something in the back of my head said, no, come back to the land. And so I did. I rejoined the family ranch and uh, gave up that comfortable salary, that guaranteed paycheck, and said, I'll make a living on my own. The horse thought that was hilarious, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> but I did it anyway. And um, what I'm talking about is a big squeeze, where the agrarian way of life is being squeezed by centralized business and bloated bureaucracy from both ends is being squeezed out of our American culture. And I'm hoping we can reinvent that at some level uh, tonight. So for instance, in 1970, the top five beef companies controlled about one quarter of the beef market. Today, the top four companies control three quarters of that same market. It's unbelievable. In 1965, there were 1.1 million dairy operations producing the nation's milk. Today, there are fewer than 63,000. That means 90% have evaporated gone forever, you know, evaporated milk, right? <laughs> um, in 1997, for instance, the six largest banks held 17% of our GDP. Today, those same banks hold well over half. So that's in 15 years, that's that much is centralized. This line represents the plummeting decline of people on the land. But what's interesting about it is that there is a steady history of government programs designed to prevent this. Government programs to save the family farm and help the farmer. And they all fail. They've all failed because this is what you get when you couple centralized control with good intentions. And it's such a shame because Americans love to farm. We want to farm and ranch, but nothing saps the enthusiasm like a bureaucracy. So I'm arguing that we can push back on that. This is not inevitable. We can change this, um, but it takes each and every one of us taking an action. And so I have four proposed here tonight. I want to regrow our agrarian roots in some way. Number one, get some land. Doesn't have to be very much, but get some land. That connection to soil, sunlight, and living things will give you a glimmer of self-sufficiency. It will start to reinvigorate those long lost traditions. Two. Go out and discover where your food comes from. Go to farmer's markets. Get to know your producer. <laughs> little plug here, right? But it matters. It really does matter. Understand and vote with your food dollars three times a day, right? And if the idea of investing in a nameless, faceless, corporate, uh, Wall Street mutual fund bugs you, there's actually alternatives now. And we're pushing movements like slow money. Look it up invest in a community-supported agriculture, and so forth. And lastly, help us push back on overregulation. It really does matter. Small-scale agriculture needs to be left alone. Insist that you as the consumer freely transact with me, the producer. Please ask that at every turn. And if we can do that, we can regain control. Uh, community will once again become its, in its rightful place. We can rebuild those communities that have been lost. And individuals will stop simply accepting misplaced authority. So yes, I'm asking you to come back to the land. I'm asking you to rejoin what I do. Come back to the land. It's not a dead-end job. It's really exciting. It's invigorating. It's good exercise, right? But it, but it really is valuable. Please come back to the land in whatever fashion you can. If we can do that, we can rebuild an agrarian root structure, the sort of root structure that it held this country together for so many years. And that root structure can control the erosion or prevent the erosion of some of our most cherished American values. So in conclusion, this centralized system that I've been bemoaning, that we all probably bemoan here, is really a system that we all asked for. 
So let's all ask for something else. Ask for something different. Go out, take action, come back to the land. And I really do hope to see you out there. Thank you. Yeah.